work for a renaissance where a certain boundaries workers work under the umbrella of horizon i've been doing we've been doing this for quite a long time as an outreach service we've been supporting the council the housing options team we've been working with fulfilling lives we've been working with the police the big team we work with all agencies that are involved in this a lot of the other homeless charities like street angels and basically we try I said try and offer support to these most in need maybe whether it's a, a drug issue or a drink issue or something else a mental health issue or whatever we'll try and support them get their life a little bit better in our day job we will focus on the homelessness we'll focus on the harbour mental health patients which sometimes comes into the homelessness we work closely with alcohol liaison up at the hospital they're allowed full access to the wards if we can get them and give them some brief intervention and refer them into our service while they're in that situation it's that window of opportunity for us we do a lot of work for the key workers in blackpool and we kind of support a lot of their clients with getting them into treatment getting them back into treatment if somebody's left treatment we'll go out and we'll find them and, and ask why they left treatment what can we do better we'll signpost them wherever they need to be and we'll try and support them at our best and it, it's as far as the client wants to take it really because we find a lot of these clients are entrenched in this lifestyle so it's not an easy task because there are people out there i don't know i think we're all the same that we've been working with for a long long time now at that certain moment they'll come in and then they'll start to talk to you and they'll start to open up. I think part of our job as well is, as an outreach service, we're trying to break down some barriers. Mm. We're trying to, we're trying to, we're taking the service to the client on the street. Between us, we've got quite a big knowledge of other services as well. I mean, we've got, we've got to know that a lot of these people that are on the streets, I know, like there's the rough sleepers, there's the beggars, there's, there's kind of a different cohort of, of each one. So they all tend to know us, so they know to, to speak to us and what have you. Um, but start to build relationships with them and, don't and you? that's what it's about it's about relationships yeah. it's about bonding with them um, I'm based at housing options um, so we do have an outreach service based in there now um, which makes it a bit easier for people who are homeless to access our service we can have a bit of a chat see what it is that they want that they're wanting so it's getting a lot busier as well now people are aware that I'm in there um, I've seen the same clients quite a few times and like Fred was saying, sometimes they're not ready at that point, but that, that point will probably come mm. um, and it has with a few. A lot of these clients we've known historically, they've been in service, out of service and the amount of years we've been doing this now, I have been told to get lost in not supply ways, I've been spat out, I've been attacked with bits and pieces, you know what I mean? Not, not you know, nothing major. But we just keep going. <laughs> we just keep talking to them. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a way, it's not, it's not grinding them down, it's not bothering them, but it's just making them aware that actually somebody's there for them when they're ready. It just takes that one intervention for them to yeah. be like, yeah, actually, I'm ready, I'm ready to change. Yeah. So that's why we do keep going back to the same people yeah. and seeing if they've changed their mind yet. Yeah.